Today on the podcast, we are featuring the Israeli-based electronic artist Dylan Tauber. Learn more about him and listen to his track, I Love Carmen. Welcome to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music Podcast, where we talk all things music. I'm your host, Jeanette Kinzel, music blogger and enthusiast. Let's get started with today's episode. Just popping in to give you a heads up. This podcast contains paid promotional content. That means we were compensated for the feature. All opinions are our own, and we only choose to represent music that we truly dig. Now on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Kinzel. For those of you just joining us, this is the podcast where I talk about different musicians and how their music affects me and then play a track for you to listen to so you can check it out and form your own opinion as well. And I'd love to know what you think of the track if you're so inclined to do so. We will have some details at the end of the show where you can leave a comment and share your thoughts on this artist as well. Today I'm talking about Dylan Tauber. He's an award-winning electronic musician, cyber artist, photographer, and author who's been making art and music for the past 25 years. So he's quite a prolific fellow, and you know, he's been producing music, artwork, and writing since he began his career back in 1996. And it all started with this Double Mirrors anthology, which um, was a book, a photo slideshow, a soundtrack, and then a companion website at um, www.doublemirrors.com. And the whole Double Mirrors theory is like this reasoning for mankind's inexhaustible quest for the truth, God, love, or whatever else, you know, someone wishes to refer for the search of the infinite. Um, Basically, you know, it's like our minds have these two parallel mirrors and they're producing two different illusions. So one is like the physical world, which we see, you know, we're looking out and our retina kind of sends a message to our brain telling us what what we physically and visually see. Then there's another mirror parallel to that, and that mirror is our memories reflecting back on our existence, analyzing self-perception from a distance. It was likened to seeing, a, um, like for example, he had talked about a chimpanzee seeing a peanut and chimpanzee would just eat the peanut. But as humans, you know, we wouldn't just eat the peanut. We would see the peanut and wonder why we're eating it and, you know, what the world would be like if we, if it weren't for the peanut and then how would we tra- properly uh, treat the peanut, etc. cetera. So it's, it's, it's interesting. He goes on to say, um, we construct notions of forever, immortality, the soul, God, and spirituality, etc. cetera. Um, once perceived, the illusion of infinity takes on a life of its own and becomes a force it was perceived. A computer can spit out ones and zeros, but only man can perceive God. Self-reflection is what makes us human. So it's pretty, that's, it's a pretty interesting thing. And according to the information I found, the double mirrors is kind of like an ongoing project and it's evolving as um, Tauber continues to explore this like cyber spiritual, uh, spiritual revolution. Um, it's quite an interesting read, and it kind of gives insight into the spirituality that's found in his music. Um, I can leave a link to the to this in the show notes in case you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, that was kind of the first project that he did. And then another interesting thing about him is that he was uh, a nomad of sorts, and he's lived all over the world. Um, you know, since graduating from Columbia back in 1996, he had lived in New York City, he had lived in Jerusalem, um, Miami, uh, a remote island in the southwestern Pacific, and now he's living in a kib- kibbutz, I don't know if I said that word right, um, K-I-B-B-U-T-Z, in northern is- Israel, and that there he is an artist in residence. So, you know, I think also maybe living in these different places may have influenced his music as well. I mean, I can't say that for sure, but like, you know, I, I would think that um, especially maybe seeing all the different spirituality in all of these places would probably um, be something that might kind of influence his work. Um, but in addition to his music and his arts pursuits, he also runs a network of 22 websites, which have an online imaging and photo gallery and a video archive. And this network of websites has a high, you know, it's, it's very, um, wide reaching and I think it's been running since 96. And, um, but yeah, that was also something interesting. Um, but today the track I'm playing is the title track off his 14th album release and it's entitled I Love Carmen and this was released last month via his own label Song of Waves Studios.
When it comes to describing his music, it, it seems to be referred to as transcendental electronica. And this was a new term for me, so I went to my friend Google to see if I could find some details about it and what it kind of encompasses. And there was one entry that I found on this website, Rate Your Music, and I think Rate Your Music seems to be a forum where people will post music and then other people will kind of give artist suggestions based on that particular genre. I don't know too much about it, but um, just from like, a, you know, glancing at it a little bit, that's what I gathered. The entry for Transcendental Electronica described it as this collection of different types of electronic music, mostly involving like drones, ambient sounds, and it's supposed to have this like metaphysical and ephemeral feeling and something that can transport you to like another plane of existence. And I'm not sure if this is the right definition for transcendental electronica, but I, I would say that this kind of fits in where his music lies. And, you know, it does have the ability to kind of take you out of your senses. You know, I, I also think it lies somewhere in the middle of being like a dance worthy, you know, bumping track, but also not too heavy pumping beats where you want to just could listen to it and chill. Like, you know, it has that it has kind of both ends of the spectrum. So it's kind of like in the middle where it's like, you know, a really fun song, but then it's also like very chill and very relaxing and very, you know, very just kind of soothing to the soul. Um, you know, overall, I think um, his music has also been described as kind of like ambient, um, you know, electronica incorporating uh, trance music. The song and the album inspiration came from his girlfriend. So it makes sense if there is a lot of like love and ethereal sounds to it and, and just kind of like that, that emotional feeling. The thing I like about this song is the opening has these like digital waves of sound. At least to me, they, this is how it sounds. They have these like do, 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 do. I'm not, I'm, and I'm not saying that right, but it's like these counteracting synth sounds that kind of like go back and forth a couple times and then it comes in with the drums that hit heavy and then after the drums hit heavy there's this warm like sensitive vocals and then the beat continues to be this progressive and softly thumping sound with lyrics that could just go so well with it and I was trying to find the lyrics online but I couldn't and I'm not really exactly sure what they're saying, but I think it had something to do with like, just hold on or like, you know, it was very like love, emotional, lovelorn lyrics kind of sounding. Um, it, it also has this like soothing sound that is just part like dance beat, but also very part chill. Like I was talking about before, it's like, it's music that you can just relax to. And this song has a lot of versatility to it. I feel like, you know, you can hear it being like pumped out of a car stereo on the beach, or you can you know, hear it at a bar or even listening to it just in the background while you're like doing something else or just trying to like relax and chill out. So it, it's got like all these like different ways that you can listen. And I also think like listening to it in different settings gives it a different feel as well. Um, you know, th and this can be said for the other music of his as well. I was listening to some other stuff and there is a lot of like spirituality and, and easiness to his music that makes it just it makes the listener just feel like they're really at ease and you know there's like this emotion and tenderness in his music as well as the lyrics and and they are also softer than typical dance vocals which is which is interesting and I think that kind of adds to like the softness of the music and the the um the, the relaxation of the music and just kind of and it just kind of gets the job done with you know not being too soft or slow for a dance song. So it's like, you know, it's soft, but it's not so slow where it feels like it's like a a slow like a slow jam or something. It's it's more like, you know, it still has that dance beat. In regards to like artists that he has been compared to, I haven't seen a lot of comparisons. And, you know, I, I wonder if that's just because his music does seem different and you know the use of like the spirituality and a lot of the things that he's doing kind of set him apart from other electronic artists. Um, one review on Screen Legion had compared him to uh, Dash Berlin or Armin Van Buren um, and then like Spotify has this like you know fans of section when you like go to his page to see like other things um, other musicians who might be sim in the similar vein of music. Um, a few of them included Jay Enigma, um, Kevin Dambruch, Ralph Franco, and Martin T. Scudder. Um, but yeah, and you know, just speaking of reviews and features, he's been kind of getting like a ton of, um, you know, features and press and, and just kind of blowing up in the blogosphere. 
with his musical talents and production skills, you know, he's making a mark on things. And that mark has gotten him featured in a lot of uh, outlets, including Celeb Mix, Indie Band Guru, Obscure Sound, Find No Enemy, Breaking and Entering, Broken 8 Records, Global Dance Electronic, Screen Legion, as I mentioned before, The Mouth Soap, Sleeping Bag Studios, Sound Looks, African Hype, Vents Magazine, Jamsphere, Indie X Music, NoHo Arts District, TJPL News, and Indie Doc Music Blog. With all that said and done, now I will play the track for you to listen to. Perhaps it'll please you enough and be a new addition to your 2022 summer playlist. So without further ado, here is I Love Carmen by Dylan Tauber. About Dylan Tauber and his track I Love Carmen. You can tell us in a comment on the podcast webpage. You can also leave an audio comment at the link in the episode summary. For more information on Dylan Tauber, check out his official website, www.dylantauber.com. That is D Y L A N T A U B E R.com. You can also like and follow him on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. On Facebook, his handle is Son of Wave Studios. That is S O N O F W A V E S S T U D I O S. You can also find him on Twitter at Dylan underscore Tauber. That is D Y L A N underscore T A U B E R. Follow him on Instagram at Dylan Tauber Music. That is D Y L A N T A U B E R M U S I C. And if you're looking for more new music, be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you'll get the latest updates on our artist features. You can also find more music features on our website at www.eatsleepbreathemusic.com. That is E-A-T-S-L-E-E-P-B-R-E-A-T-H-E-M-U-S-I-C.com. Thanks for listening and see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music podcast. To find new music and learn more about what we do, you can check out our website at www.eatsleepbreathemusic.com. 